Hello and welcome. My name is Jim Logan, and this is the first of what will be many videos I'm preparing for my YouTube channel to cover the TMEA Clarinet Audition Music 2023. So um, we're going to start looking at the opening of number 18. And uh, before we do so, I highly recommend you go to TMEA.org and look at the errata sheet that tells you tempos and gives you some clues on some different things that you should be working on with this um, with this etude. So according to the errata, you should eventually be anywhere from 63 to 74, uh, dotted quarter note, 63 to 74. That's just a tempo for where we're going to get. Right now, we're going to start very slowly, and I'm probably going to be faster here in the interest of time than maybe you should be, but I'm, play I'm playing this way under tempo, vastly under tempo, for you to get an idea to make sure that you're getting the right rhythms and the right notes. Uh, if you are um, uh, practicing with a metronome, which you must be doing, we want to put the metronome and be clicking on uh, eighth notes. Okay, these are eighth notes. That first note is a 16th. So um, we should be thinking one and two and three and four and five and six, te one, or one and two and three and four and five and six and one, okay? When we get to that dotted quarter note, you have to make sure you're subdividing eighth notes on that so you get the right rhythm. So here's just the, the first two notes, one and two and three and four and five. Okay, now this is just the downbeat. I want you to, to hear what the proper subdivision is here um, for this first note. So this is the first measure without the pickup note. One, ready. People are going to play that wrong. So let's learn that right the first day, okay? One way of practicing to make sure you're getting that rhythm correctly is to go ahead and practice the subdivision out loud. Again, this is the first measure without the pickup. Okay? Do that several times and then play it while you're thinking in your head. Ba, 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 bi, ya, da. Okay? So this is the entire opening here. From the beginning, I'm going to stop in measure uh, 16. And before you're starting this, each time you must be counting yourself off. Don't guess. Count yourself off. And by that, I mean you're thinking in your head, one and two and three and four and five and six and one. Okay? Or if you're one of those Tay people, one and two and three and four and five and six. Tay one. Okay? One and two and three and four and at the end. Don't wait until Thanksgiving break to start adding crescendos, day crescendos, and dynamics, okay? Uh, recently, I read somewhere uh, something I, I really liked. Somebody was saying, uh, waiting until you have learned the music to add dynamics is like breaking your arm, putting it in a cast, and then after a month, um, taking the cast off and resetting the bone. Don't do that. Practice your dynamics right out of the gate. In this opening, we have a forte. We have a crescendo decrescendo in seven, eight, a slight decrescendo in nine, uh, and a significant crescendo decrescendo in 15, 16. Do that, do that right away. 
I, it's my opinion that playing this music with the, uh, with the written dynamics actually helps you learn the music, okay? Uh, dynamics should not be looked, like, looked at as uh, uh, the cherry on the top that we're going to add afterwards. It, it's a part of it. We don't add something that's an essential part of the music. And again, this is going to be one thing that will set you apart from many, many people if you will actually play the dynamics, okay? So I strongly urge you, listen close to that. Uh, the uh, a couple of features of what I just played that were, are going to trip up a number of people. Make sure that when you're playing uh, C to E flat, that you're playing that C on the left side, for example, uh, in measure four. Um, one, two, three, four, five notes from the downbeat. Before the downbeat of measure five, you have a C E flat there. Take your pencil and write an L in there today. And practice it that way. Don't be trying to do the slide. There's no reason to do that on a properly uh, functional uh, instrument. C's, there are a lot of C's on the left side here. Um, anything else? Measure 13. This rhythm is going to uh, is going to eat a lot of people's lunch here, and and it will uh, if you're not subdividing. So again, in measure 13. Listen to this proper rhythm, and don't guess on it. Subdivide it and lock it in right where it should be. This is the downbeat, beginning of the downbeat of measure 13. Etc. Okay? Last thing, and then we're going we're gonna to close out this, this first video. I think, in my opinion, the most difficult, the most technically technically challenging uh, portion of all three of this year's etudes is this, uh, is this little ditty down in measure 40. It goes like this. That's not easy. Start working on it today. Don't wait until October, not third week of October, today. That's the most difficult spot. And if I were on the panel, and I, I, I highly doubt I would be on the panel, if I were on the panel, I would definitely want to want to hear that because that's going to that's gonna make or break a lot of people. So start working on that today. And the last thing I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to pass on a, a couple of practice techniques here uh, that, I, that I use and I strongly urge you uh, to use, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, these techniques on this measure. We're trying to, to, to teach the, the, the fingers, the combination or the patterns uh, that are on the page. So uh, I have like a five-step process. I'm gonna run you through this really quick and you can use this on anything you're working on that has any technical issues for you that are, that are challenging. Uh, the first thing is we play four notes for one note. So for every note on the page, we're going to play four notes slowly, and we're focusing on fingers close to the key. Keys. If your fingers are flying, you're not going. To, you're going to lack consistency. So this is one of those places where we really develop fingers close to the keys, like this. Now you could do this two beats at a time in the interest of time in this video. I'm, I'm just dividing it up into the one beat. We always practice whatever we're doing. We always play to the next downbeat, okay? So we've done four for one. Now we're gonna do three for one. Again, fingers close to the keys, two for one. Okay, and then you can play it as written all tongued. You can do these all slurred as well. I like to do this all tongued because I get more bang for my buck that way. I'm, I'm, I'm also practicing my, my articulation and my fingers and my air, etc. Uh, the next thing is we vary the rhythm. Long, short, long. And then short, long, short, long. Okay. Essential that we're playing the notes right every time. If we're not... Slow it down, slow it down, okay? And then the last practice technique, uh, I call this the granddaddy of them all because I think it's so very, very important, but I save it last after all of the others that I've just shown you. Uh, we, we, we move the downbeat over one note. So in measure 40, instead of starting on E flat, we're gonna start on C. C is now the downbeat, and we're gonna stop on the C, which is a second note of beat two, same measure, like this. 
And you can do this all tongued or all slurred, however you want to do it. Now we displace the beat, and G is now our downbeat, the third note to the third note. Fourth note to fourth note. Fifth note to fifth note. Sixth note to sixth note. Okay, and then you go back to home base. And that feels a lot easier. It feels easier to me just doing that brief thing. For each of these displacements of the beat, you know, you, you, again, I, in the interest of time, I'm trying to keep this to about 10 minutes. I'm failing because I'm over 10 minutes, but it is what it is. But um, you would play from the second note to the second note several times till it feels okay somewhat comfortable and then the third note in the interest of time i was just doing second note to second note third note to third note fourth note but you could you could do vary it whatever works for you but but that's that's enough for today and and if you will start working on that get going on it um visit this channel uh frequently i will be adding videos as time allows eventually we'll work up tempo but for right now very slowly make sure every your, your notes are even and you're getting the right notes if you're making mistakes write these um accidentals or or circle the note or whatever you need to do for consistency for consistency okay and good luck uh you're going to see my email address jjimlogan at gmail.com please give me some feedback here Send me an email. Let me know what you think. Let me know if uh, you have any suggestions of what I could do to make this more effective. If there's anything in particular you want me uh, to to talk about, uh, I'm more than happy to uh, listen to some, some input from everyone. Okay? Good luck. And start practicing now.